Lumbar radiculopathy, sciatica. Sciatica, or lumbar radiculopathy, is a condition of the compression or irritation of the nerve roots in the lumbar spine. These nerve roots travel from the spine through the buttocks, hips, legs, and into the feet, so an injury in the lumbar spine may cause symptoms in those locations. Sciatica can result from many different problems of the tissues and bones in the lumbar spine. One common cause is from a herniated disc. Herniated discs are caused by the soft inner nucleus of the vertebral disc pushing out through cracks in the outer walls, bulging and pressing on the nerve roots. Another spinal condition that could cause sciatica is degenerative disc disease. Degenerative disc disease is due to a weakening of the intervertebral discs, which serve as a buffer in the space separating the vertebrae. Bones around it can touch, which pinches the nerve roots nearby. As degeneration occurs, bone spurs may develop. Bone spurs may push into the spinal canal, causing spinal stenosis, which also may cause pressure on the nerve roots. Injury may occur to any of the five vertebrae of the lumbar spine, also known as the L1 to L5, or at the sacrum. The upper part of the sacrum is known as S1. Symptoms will vary depending on the injury but may include pain, numbness, tingling, or weakness. An injury that occurs at the L2 level could cause thigh pain or weakness in the hips. An injury that occurs at the L3 level could cause knee and thigh weakness or pain. An injury that occurs at the L4 level could cause pain from the lower back to the foot or weakness in the foot. An injury that occurs at the L5 level could cause foot weakness or pain all the way from the top of the foot to the outer leg. An injury at the S1 level could cause foot weakness or pain from the outer foot to the calf.